Whether you're new to triathlon, have just started open water swimming or have been doing it for ages, when it comes to buying a new wetsuit, which one do you go for? With so many to choose from, it can be a little bit overwhelming when it comes to buying a new one. So that's what I'm here to help you with today. I'm gonna to break down the difference between each and every single one of Zone 3's wetsuits so that you know which one's for you, which ones are for your more beginners and which ones are for your pros. But first up, let's show you how to put it on easily, not ripping it, making sure it fits perfectly. Get yourself a plastic bag and pop it over your foot. Put your legs through the leg hole on the wetsuit. The bag should make your foot slip through a little more easily. Once it's over your legs, grab as much material from around your calves as possible and hoik it up. Don't have long nails though because you don't want to pierce or damage the material. Keep pulling the material up bit by bit until it is around your waist. But if it's baggy around your crotch, Go back to your ankles and pull up the material bit by bit again from the bottom. You're aiming to have a little excess neoprene or material around your waist. Before you move on to your hands, we definitely recommend taking off your watch. And then you can do the same bag trick that you did on your feet. Pull the material up around your shoulders and you want to ruche the material right up under your armpits because you want the freedom in your arms to be able to do your swim stroke easily. Next, you need to bend over at the waist to be able to grab more material and pull it up again bit by bit, right around your neck and shoulders. Now it's time to do it up and voila, you're good to go. So now you know how to put your wetsuit on, it's time to talk through the features of all the Zone 3 wetsuits. Before we get into the individual wetsuits though, it is worth noting that all of the Zone 3 wetsuits have a few common features between them all. They're all designed to bring your bum and your legs up horizontally so that you can float better in the water. The second point is that you'll notice here on my arms and on all of the suits here that the arms and the legs have something called speed cuffs. This is to help you, especially in transition at a triathlon, to get your wetsuit off nice and quickly. The third feature that they all have in common is a special coating on all of the wetsuit that actually make you go quicker through the water. I'll go into a bit more detail in this a little bit later. And finally, all of the wetsuits that we're going to be talking about today are fully lined and all the seams are fully bonded as well. That's just to make you super comfortable in the water, a little bit warmer and just show how good and high quality they all are. So the first wetsuit in the Zone 3 range that we're going to be talking through is the Azure wetsuit. This one is actually exclusive to Wiggle and is a really, really great entry level wetsuit. So if you've just started triathlon or your open water swimming, this is a really great one to get you started. The fit on this wetsuit isn't going to be super, super tight, so you have got a little bit more movement in there. And that's great for if you're not actually used to wearing a wetsuit at all, because sometimes it can feel a little bit restricting if you're not used to it. As I suggested earlier, all of the wetsuits in the Zone 3 range are made to kind of give you a bit more buoyancy in the bum and the legs, just to make you more horizontal in the water. So on the Azure wetsuit here, you're gonna get a lot more thickness in the legs, um, and that's because generally newer swimmers do tend to sink a little bit more than more advanced swimmers. So we're looking at about four millimeters of thickness right here, whereas in the body of the suit, it's a little bit thinner at about two millimeters. As we go up through the range, one of the things that you will notice about all the different suits is the amount of uh, neoprene panels that are in the suit. The panels are essentially just the different um, like thicknesses of the material and just as you can see like where it's all put together. Basically, the more panels that you've got, the more kind of balance that you'll have in the water, but this is actually more beneficial for the more pro you are. So as a beginner, not something you need to worry about and you just need to focus on getting nice and straight in the water. So that's pretty much the Azure wetsuit rounded up and it is about 159 quid on the Wigger website right now. 
and it's exclusive to us. So we are the only place you can go and buy this wetsuit. So if you're just getting into the sport, this is probably the one you want to go for. The next suit in the Zone 3 range is the one that I am demonstrating here right now. Um, it is the Agile wetsuit and it is pretty agile actually, it feels pretty good on I have to say. It is a little bit of a step up from the Azure wetsuit because it has just a few more neoprene panels in it. Again, this is all to do with the balance of your body in the water. So on this wetsuit you have got a mixture of 2mm, 3mm and 4mm thickness of neoprene. Although this suit is classed as an entry level wetsuit, it is actually worn by a lot of people um, going up into your more advanced training as well. Whether they're just using it for training instead of race day, that's kind of up to the individual. But it is a really competitive suit for the price and you are getting so many details and key features in here that are really important to your swim. So earlier in the video I mentioned something about a coating that all of the wetsuits have. This is something known as a talon coating which actually makes it a little bit harder to just rip or scratch it and basically protects it from your nails which is one thing that I also have to say don't go try pulling up your wetsuit if you've got super long nails. It's just going to damage it and eventually that's going to cause tears and that's going to cause leakage. So that is the last thing that you want when you're buying a new wetsuit. So just bear that in mind when you are trying them on as well. Again, if you're not used to wearing wetsuits, then this Agile suit is really great because it's not going to be too restricting or too tight. You'll get some nice movement here, but it will feel quite snug still. One thing to remember is that when you do get in the water, neoprene itself does actually give a little bit. So it might feel a little bit tight while you're on land, but as soon as you get in the water, it's gonna fit even better. The Agile wetsuit has been made from Yamamoto neoprene. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but either way, it is like the top end neoprene that you can use on wetsuits. So again, this is just a really, really great feature and is actually going to really help you glide through the water, which is exactly what you want if you're entering your first triathlon or just trying to beat everyone around the boys at your local swim spot. Moving on to wetsuit number three. This is the Zone 3 Advanced Wetsuit and I have to say it just feels already super, super soft and a little bit different to the two we've looked at so far. This is where we're getting into your more intermediate swimmers and this is probably a wetsuit that I would actually choose to wear. We've spoken about having thicker neoprene in the legs of your suit to kind of keep you a little bit more buoyant in the water but what I really like about the advanced suit is that you've actually got a big, bigger panel here right in the middle of your torso and again that is really going to help with your balance in the water there. The next noticeable difference is that the neoprene in the shoulders is a lot thinner and that's just going to make it really, really easy to be able to kind of get your swim stroke absolutely perfect as you're moving through the water there. And because it is thinner over the shoulders, if you are a little bit broader in this area, which a lot of swimmers tend to be, it's just going to be a lot more comfortable here as well. One other feature to kind of look out for on the advanced wetsuit is that the neck is laser cut and so are around the limbs. This is just one other feature to add extra comfort to your swim because nobody wants to get any wetsuit rub when they're swimming, especially in really salty water. The advanced wetsuit is a really great wetsuit to race in and is probably the one that I would be choosing. It comes in at around 259 on the Wiggle website and is a really great all-rounder for those triathlons you're going to be entering. And actually a little fact for you here is that it was voted the best wetsuit and it won loads of awards in 2021 and I can genuinely see why. So the fourth wetsuit that we're going to be looking at today is the Vision wetsuit which I have got on right here and it is where things start to get a little bit more serious. This wetsuit is aimed at your more age group category triathlete, so someone who is really, really starting to put a lot of effort into their racing, wanting to get quicker, wanting to get faster, wanting to get on the podium. It's going to start to feel a little bit more fitted, so for those of you who are brand new 
As I said, you might not like the feel of this, but for someone who is really used to racing, really used to wearing a wetsuit, then something a little bit more fitted is going to be perfect. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the more advanced we go into the wetsuits, the more panels you get actually on the body of the wetsuit. So obviously this one's going to have a few more than the one that we looked at earlier. This is the type of suit that you might want to only keep for race day itself, just so that you can keep it in as mint condition as possible. So if you did have this vision suit for races only, you might want to kind of switch back to something like an agile or, or an advanced for your training sessions in between. And the last point to mention on the Vision wetsuit is the Speed Cuff. These ones are called Speed Cuff Pro and they are just essentially even more easy to get off, but they're really tight when you've got them on. Moving on to wetsuit number five. This is the Zone 3 Aspire and it is the point at which we go a little bit more rogue. It's also the point at which it becomes a little bit more of an investment. So this is definitely the suit for someone who's looking to qualify for the really big races. It's a suit that the semi-pros wear and even some of the pros themselves because, you know, people like the Brownleys, for example, don't always want to wear the top spec suits because they just find these ones so much more comfortable. So this is what we're looking at right now. The Aspire wetsuit is even quicker than the Vision that we just looked at, the one that I've got on, and it is super, super flexible. So it's just going to give you loads of movement for when you're doing your rotation in your arm. And it has also got the anti-roll technology, like the Vision does, to just, again, keep you really stable in the water. As I've mentioned about a million times in this video, the panels are where it makes the big difference in terms of your buoyancy and this has got lots of them as well. But where this suit gets really different is on the arms and the legs. The speed cuffs on here, as you can see, look super different and these actually are made of a different material than all of the others that we have seen so far. This is because it allows you to feel the water. This suit gives you a real performance fit, so it's going to be quite tight fitting, but because it is super stretchy, it doesn't feel restrictive at all. In terms of comfort, this one is absolutely amazing. When you're touching the inside of it, it just feels super, super silky against your skin. And actually the lining itself is well known to keep you a little bit warmer in the water. So if you're competing uh, when it's a bit cold or you are mad and love swimming during the winter, like me, uh, this is actually going to keep you a little bit warmer without having to go fully thermal. This wetsuit comes in at around the £450 mark, but it has won loads of awards, more awards than any of other Zone 3 wetsuits put together. So yeah, this one should help you get on the podium, win those races and smash your PBs. The final suit we are looking at today even comes in a super fancy box. So I'm just going to whip this out right here. And a changing mat. Bit high end, isn't it? This is the Zone 3 Vanquish and this is the top spec model in the whole lineup today. Already just feeling the suit, it does feel completely different to any of the others that I have felt so far. This panel in the arm, I know I keep banging on about panels, but this one is so, so thin. It almost feels just like a second skin as opposed to neoprene itself. And that is part of the speed cuffs to help you get them off quicker, but also to help you fill the water like it was in the suit before. The technical term for this uh, fancy bit of material in the arm that feels like a second skin is a sensory catch panel. If... The official name for the bit of... <laughs> ah! The official name for this fancy bit of second skin material is the sensory catch panel. So again, it's just going to make you really be able to fill the water, really fill yourself, pull it past you and make you really speedy. And even better, make it even quicker to get the whole thing off when you're running out into transition. 
This suit really complements a good swimmer. So if you are a good swimmer, you know you're a good swimmer and you're winning competitions and you're winning triathlons, this is definitely the suit for you. It's gonna really complement your swimming technique. It is a bit of an investment at around 650 to 700 pounds. But again, if you are winning all these competitions, then it's an investment in yourself. <laughs> If you're a good swimmer, you're probably not going to need as much help keeping upright because your technique should do that for you. So this is where this suit's going to really come into its own. I spoke about a silk lining on the suit before this one and this has also got it, but where this one steps up a notch is that it's also got titanium weaved into it as well. I mean, you would hope so considering the price tag on this one. The titanium in the suit actually kind of reflects back your heat so will keep you warmer in the water. So this is really great for those lean athletes out there or anyone who particularly feels the cold. It's just going to keep you that little bit warmer. So about 10 or so panels and on the arms the thickness goes down to as thin as 1.5 millimetres which is the thinnest of all of the range that we've looked at so far. A really big story about this suit though is that it is made of bio rubber, especially in the legs area. And the bio rubber reflects UA rays back into the suit and actually helps to minimise fatigue. It really helps the blood flow in the legs. So this is going to be really great if you are a triathlete because sometimes by the time you come out of the swim, especially on long distance races, and get onto the bike, your legs are already feeling a little bit jelly-like. So this is gonna really help prevent that essentially. So you'll be flying on the bike as well. To sum it up, the Vanquish X is the quickest suit in the zone three range and is gonna absolutely send you flying in your triathlon races. So if you're semi-pro, you're pro, really great swimmer, this is definitely the one to go for. When it comes to buying your new wetsuit, obviously I've spoken about how they fit differently and at the more beginner level they're probably going to be a bit looser and at the higher end level they're going to be a little bit tighter. One thing to really take note of here is that it doesn't matter whether they come up a little bit short in your arms and legs. It's all about how it fits around your body. The arms and legs is just to do with your height. So if that means like going down a size or sticking to a specific size on the size guide, then do it. Don't look at the height. It is not as important as the rest of it. Hopefully this video has given you a great idea of which Zone 3 wetsuit is for you and all the key features to look out for as you move through the ranks. Don't forget to drop us a comment and tell us which wetsuit you're currently wearing and which competitions you've got coming up. We would love to hear from you and also give us a little like and a subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Happy swimming. Go and smash your races.